Hello friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Tuesday, November 12, 2019. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line. Uh, it's been 50 years since Sesame Street first aired, which is hard to believe. Disney Plus launched overnight, but not without issues. I guess a lot of people are having trouble accessing the content. Uh, if we know Disney, they'll fix it, so just stay tuned. Um, what else? I think Miley Cyrus is getting vocal cord surgery. Uh, lots of sports news. LSU beat Alabama over the weekend, and last night the 49ers were dethroned, no longer undefeated. They were beaten by the Seahawks in an epic overtime showdown. My son is a huge Seahawks fan, so we were up late watching all the action and... I don't even know what to tell you. If you care, you know probably already. And if you don't, you don't want to know now. Um, it's also National French Dip Day. And I do feel obligated as a good Chicago native to tell you a French dip is not the same thing as an Italian beef. So I just wanted to get that out there. If you missed any of that riveting news, you can catch up below. Of course, you can also find it at SammyCone.com. You can find me at the Sammy Cone on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also on YouTube. Always appreciate interacting with you while you are there. Oh, what do I have to tell you? Okay, so we have been gone because we were at our annual family staycation at Opryland. So Every year we go to a country Christmas. I know we only live 20 minutes away, but there is so much to see and do at Opryland over the holidays. You can't do it all in one day. Did you also know that two thirds of the nation's population is within a one day's drive from Opryland? Crazy, right? So we always go, we love to spend the night and we did ice, we did ice tubing or snow tubing, ice tubing, I think it's ice tubing technically. Um, there's a scavenger hunt and of course we spent most of our time at Soundways because you can because it's 84 degrees all year round at the indoor water attraction. So it was really great. We got a sneak peek of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the musical. There's so much going on there. There's actually going to be a 30 minute Christmas special starring, you guessed it. Yes, that's right. We're doing a special episode of the Sammy Cohn Show from Opryland. Stay tuned for details on that. I am giving you my full walkthrough of ice though. I'll put a link below if you want to see ice featuring a Christmas story this year. Listen, I've never seen the movie all the way through and honestly, I was the least excited about this theme. I love all the classic animation that they bring to life. This may be my favorite yet. It is incredible. Um, I'll go into more detail later, but trust me, we spent the most time in it. Um, there's new features that they've never been able to do before. It's pretty incredible this year. So go check that out. Uh, I do just want to say we have had to deal with some really tough things in our family this weekend, a really um, difficult circumstance. And so it's been interesting juxtaposing fun family staycation, work, all that with um, just real life and parenting and everything. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't have answers. I don't have things wrapped up in a bow, but I, I just want to pray humility over everyone. I read a Psalm this morning and it was talking about how sometimes we're um, most vulnerable and least in the know when we think we know everything. And so I just uh, was reminded to be humble and be, um, just embrace humility. And I want to pray that over us today. So friends, I pray that, uh, that you are humble in all you do in all the wisdom that you seek, that we seek it for the right reasons. I also just pray that you have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye friends.